This video was edited by AJ Analysis, check out his channel, it will be linked in the description below. Also the first part to this video is an analysis of James Garner that will also be linked in the description and in the eye above. So Hannibal Medjbri has just turned 19 and has already featured 11 times for the Tunisian national side, where he featured in the FIFA Arab Cup at the end of 2021. If I had to pin down Medjbri's best role, I would say that at the moment he's a number 8, a player who is best when he's allowed to be the most advanced central midfielder in a midfield 3 or as a number 10 ahead of a double pivot. However, as you'll see later on in the video, I do think he can develop into a different type of player as well. But before I go any further, for cheap good quality football jerseys, retro jerseys and tracksuits, go over to www.jerseyfever.com. I myself have bought a number of different jerseys from Jersey Fever, including this 2003-2004 Manchester United shirt with Ronaldo on the back and this one's probably my favourite, so if you want a shirt like this be sure to click the link in the description below and use code ALANTISFOOTBALL with a space to get 5% off. Medjbri is a very good ball carrier in central areas, having the close ball control and quick body movements to float past players in a similar way to how we see Mateo Kovacic do for Chelsea. This is an extremely valuable asset for a central midfielder to have and quite an uncommon one as well. By having a player like this, a side can progress the ball past the opposition's midfield line through one individual player rather than having to rely on multiple players being involved in short passing interplay, which of course is going to be a lot harder to achieve and a lot slower as well. Paul Pogba has a similar ability and I think United would certainly benefit from having this attribute in another player, making them less reliant on Pogba and Fernandes to progress the ball forward. But Medjbury also has a creative attributes that you would expect from an advanced midfielder as well, being able to see and then play defence splitting through balls, which would certainly suit United as recently, Ranić has been using two wingers, Sancho and either Elanga or Rashford, keeping them high and wide and then looking to make runs in behind their fullbacks. I think Medjbri would be excellent in a quick transition and attack as he can be the player to receive the ball after a turnover and then drive the attack forward with his dribbling ability while still being a creative threat in the final third. This is why I think Medjbri is more of a central midfielder than a number 10, but I also think he could develop into a number 6, which is a player capable of playing in a midfield too, but this will only happen when he's physicality and defensive attributes improve, which they will do as he's only 19 now. I think we could see him becoming a similar type of player to Mateo Kovacic, who I think is one of the best midfielders in the world and extremely underrated. See, above all else, you want one main thing from your central midfielder in possession, and that is to progress the ball forward. Yes, there are other elements, but everything revolves around progressing the ball into the final third and then looking to create a chance from there, and the responsibility of moving the ball into these positions falls on the deeper lying midfielders most heavily. Heavily. This can be done either through passes, either long to switch the play out to the flank, or in behind the back line, or incisive which is a pass into a player in between the lines of the opposition's defensive shape. But players can also progress the ball by dribbling past players, which Medbury can do without doubt. If Ranić were to use Medjbri in one of the two central midfield spots ahead of McTominay, then he would be able to drop off and receive the ball, and then look to drive past the opposition players when the chance presents itself. The only issue for Medjbri would be that United currently have Pogba and Fernandes as those two options in those roles, and so Medjbri would probably have to wait until one of those two were to drop out of the starting eleven before getting his chance. Even if Pogba were to go in the summer, United would probably need to bring in another top-level central midfielder, but Medjbri would be a good alternative, and then he could work his way into the team. I do think that Medjbri should be given a chance in the starting lineup, particularly with the Champions League coming up, and Fernandes or Pogba potentially needing to be rested. However, next season I think the Tunisian would benefit from a loan move, and I think a move to the Bundesliga would suit him. If he were to move to a side like Wolfsburg or Hertha Berlin, for example, just two teams off the top of my head, then I think he would likely be a starter, hopefully playing in an advanced midfield role, which obviously depends on the system being played, something United would have to analyse thoroughly before sending him out on loan. I think a year in the Bundesliga playing in a mid to low table side would benefit Medjbri hugely, as he hasn't yet played a full season in senior football, and so he's going to need time to adapt, and generally, I think the Bundesliga and German clubs are the best players for dynamic midfielders to improve their physicality and tactical understanding of the game. He can then come back to United for the 2023-2024 season and compete for a starting position. But for the rest of the season, I think he should be in Ranić's plans and at the very least being given a chance to start in a Premier League game. In terms of his potential, it's hard to say accurately at the moment until we see him in senior football. 
But I definitely have high hopes for him and I think he could develop to the same level as someone like James Garner, who as I said at the start, I've also done a video on and I do rate him highly and that video will be linked in the description below so definitely check that out after this video. So thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel, check out some of my other Manchester United and non-Manchester United videos in the description below and put your thoughts in the comment section as well.